going on YouTube Onyx back again on this month 15 as you can see Julius Peppers is on the screen and for a new 24 hour card he's actually not that expensive the cheapest one I've found so far that's up is only this 206 which 24 hour cards are usually going for crazy amounts of coin but that's actually not that bad for Julius Peppers 6-7 left outside linebacker 90 speed, 90 tackle, 90 play rec, 82 zone coverage for Julius Peppers with 89 block shade, 95 acceleration, 91 strength. Yo, this is a disgusting card. He's fast. He's really strong, really good acceleration, 91 awareness, 79 catch. What the hell can't Julius Peppers do? 90 tackle isn't the greatest, but still really good. 91 jump. This motherfucker even has stiff arm and spin. What the fuck? 98 finesse move to go with his 89 block shit now for somebody who's 91 strength you would think he would have more power move but apparently he's all finesse move so 98 finesse move 89 block shit 94 pursuit 90 play rec man coverage sucks but 82 zone is really good for a um more so pass rushing linebacker 79 spectacular catch to 97 hit power oh my gosh so he can catch he can blow people up and he can get to the quarterback i i think he's definitely worth it only 200k and he's only going for 200k um if you can't pull him and you can find one of these julius peppers for 200k i would definitely go get him um i mean like i said unless you're rocking one of them ridiculous left outside linebackers already I think Terrell Suggs is like the highest rated left outside linebacker. I would definitely use this Peppers over Terrell Suggs any day. Suggs is an amazing pass rusher, but that's about it. He's not really a good coverage guy. And Peppers looks like he can do it all. But let me see if I can find these other football outsider players that came out today. All right, so LeGarrette Blunt is one of the other elites. He's actually 92 overall. I was hoping he would be that high. I am definitely going to get this card. I haven't even seen the stats yet. I don't care. I, I love LeGarrette Blunt cards are always good, no matter how slow they are. For some reason, he always gets out in the open field, and he always runs past everybody after he runs over half your team. So 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 87 agility whatever i, I kind of figured that i wasn't planning on buying this card anyway but well not that one at least so let me just go to once i know nobody's gonna buy right away 93 ball carrier vision 86 elusiveness 98 trucking he should have 100 stiff arm at least 99 if he doesn't 95 jump 99 stiff arm okay i'll deal with 99 they didn't want to give him 100 so just leave Marshawn with just 100 stiff arm, but 99, whatever. 98 truck, 99 stiff arm, 93 juke move, 91 spin move. So he's another one of those power backs that can basically do it all, kind of like Eddie Lacy, Marshawn Lynch. But as you can see, he's nowhere near as expensive as that Marshawn Lynch. And I would say he's just as good. I mean, he's obviously not as fast. But I love using LeGarrette Blunt. So I can't, 91 strength, oh my god god yeah i can't wait to get my hands on this blunt 91 strength he's never he's never gonna fall backwards he's falling forwards every time he gets hit see i definitely can't wait to get my hands on this blunt i'm definitely gonna buy him if i don't pull him uh let me see if i can find these other two real quick all right and as you can see the mason crosby card is actually a 94 overall kicker and i'm just gonna go ahead and buy him right now like you can you can join my team right away 97 kick power 96 kick accuracy um and he was only going for about 5k for a kicker that's 94 overall i will definitely take him for 5k and that is amazing kick power and kick accuracy majority of kickers do not have that power and accuracy combined i will definitely take this mason crosby uh only one left is martellus bennett let's see if we can find him on the block and here's i said martellus bennett i meant michael bennett and i love this picture they got on the card him riding a bike after they won and as you can see every football outsider this week is actually a really good card um three elites and a 94 overall gold kicker which basically is an elite kicker but as you know they don't really have elite kickers um 
outside of that George Blanda kicker card. But uh, Michael Bennett, 92 overall left in another football outsiders card. Not going to be that expensive because he's not the main football outsiders card and he's only 92. 92 isn't really that high of an overall at this stage in Mutt, but it's high enough and it's good enough to be a good card. And this is a really good card. 83 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 strength. 94 tackle, 95 power move, 93 block shed, and 88 play rec. Um, I think he's also going to join my team. Every one of these football outsider cards can come join my team right now. <laughs> Not even joking. All of them are probably going to be on my team by the end of the day and probably be starting somewhere or in some type of role on my team. These are all very good cards, e even down to the kicker that came out. Every last one of these football outsider cards are really good. I don't think there's one that is really a at a disadvantage uh, from the other one. So, I mean, if you pull any of them, I would use them unless, like I said, unless you already have one of them high 95 overall teams where you, everybody on your squad is one of the highest rated players on the game. If not, I would definitely keep these cards and probably use them. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead because I did. I got the bundles. And the bundle toppers are just team of the year players. I'm going to go ahead and pull those two bundle toppers while we're here. Just to. Oh, I didn't know I had this wheel of contracts. I'm running out of contracts, so. 25 contracts. Yay. Whatever. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to pull these two Team of the Year toppers in. Hopefully we can get somebody good. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Kalias Campbell. Uh, not bad, but not great. I got one more topper pack. Come on, Murray or Keekly. That's that's all I'm looking for. Mur Murray, Keekly, or Joe Hayden. Any of those, and I will be <sighs> Ben Roethlisberger. Oh my gosh, this card is going for like 70k. I, 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 I can't do nothing with this Ben Roethlisberger. But whatever, we're going to end the video there. I'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of that Ben Roethlisberger. I might keep that Campbell. I don't know. He's a pretty tall defensive end. He's like 6'7 or something like that. But I really like that Michael Bennett. So I might get rid of him and just go pick up the cheaper Michael Bennett. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I will be back later, like I said, for these 10 Team of the Year packs. And I am Onyx, and I'm out of here.